Motor Rider World fans, and I was recently invited by BMW to head out to George to test their brand new R1200, 1250 GS, and their RT um, road model. So I needed a helmet that was kind of versatile, and I needed to turn myself into a dirty bastard for the adventure riding because it was all off-road. So I went out and got myself the best in the business. This is Scorpion's brand new ADX uh, One helmet. This is the 2021 graphics, so plain matte black, as you can see, absolutely love it. And this is the, the way I used it for the RT, the road ride. So I took the peak off, as you can see, uh, multi-purpose helmet. Absolutely love the visor. Nice big dark visor that I put in there. You get so much uh, vision from the helmet. You're really not impaired at all. It comes with the internal sun visor, so you can pop that down. I'm not a huge fan of internal sun visors though, so I just kept the dark visor on. Ventilation is absolutely superb. You've got the front uh, ventilation here, and you've got at the top here, but trust me, you want to keep that top one closed on cold days because a lot of ventilation comes through there, and it did get a little bit nippy on the early morning ride. Um, like I said, multi-purpose helmet, so you can um, take the peak off, which I've done here with this helmet. Only problem with that is, if you're a guy like me, and you're not very really careful, you can lose that peak very easily, and that's what's happened. So I'll show you pictures of the helmet, how it looks with the peak on. Very easy to take uh, on and off the peak and adjust it from adventure helmet to the more street focus helmet like this. Just get a two rand coin, and on the side there, you'll see the video there, just unscrew it on the side, pop it back in, and you can change your helmets. But like I said, it's not that easy because I've gone and lost my peak uh, changing between helmets. I was very rushed in, in George doing it. So um, buyers of this helmet aren't going to be that rushed and you'll be able to change that um, internally very easily without losing your peak like I've done. You can buy a peak by itself, but I don't suggest you lose the peak. Uh, with the peak on, on the adventure bike, on the road ride, at, at higher speeds it did kind of cause, cause a little bit of vibration so that wasn't too pleasant but it, on uh, the adventure on the dirty stuff it was fantastic the peak was perfect Lo like I said I love the vision that you get from the visor very comfortable helmet and I always kind of laughed at guys with flip face helmets because why would you want a flip face helmet until I've used one and it really is just ideal for that kind of ride you just pop it open uh, no need to take your helmet off every time you put fuel in or want to talk to your mate. Just flip it open and it's very easy. The cheek pads were a little bit tight, but it has to be like that because of the flip face helmet. Um, noise was good. Wasn't fantastic like my R1 Air Scorpion helmet that I wear. A little bit noisier than that, but like I said, nothing too serious. I just had my earplugs in and everything was absolutely fine. So the ADX1, fantastic, fantastic helmet. Really did love it. Love the shape even without the peak on. Just looks so cool. I'm going to be using this as a street helmet uh, more often than not now. But like I said, for a multi-purpose helmet, you really can't go wrong. And priced at about 4,700 Rand for the plain graphics like this, the plain black. That is proper quality and value for money. So that's the helmet all sorted. I needed to get myself a riding jacket then. Again, one that could be used on road and adventure. And I went for one of the best and most trusted and most affordable jackets on the market at the moment. It is Metalize 440 uh, multi-purpose adventure riding jacket. So as you can see, it just does everything. It's got perfect little kind of ventilation spots. So on those hot days, you can open it up and you get so many ventilation points. You've got one there, you can zip that down there and open that up. It just really is a multi-purpose jacket. It's got so many great features. It's got the nice thick internal um, jacket that you can take out if you do get a little bit too hot, but I love this on that uh, very, very frosty morning. I kept that in pretty much the whole day. Love the big pocket for your cell phone. There's no need to uh, try and squeeze your phone into this tiny pocket that's not going to do anything. Nice uh, little pockets inside there that are waterproof as well somewhat. So that was a really nice feature. At the back again, if you're looking for a little bit more ventilation, you can just open it up, zip that down and get a little bit more ventilation on the really, really warm days. So a jacket that is perfect for South African conditions in both sunny and those frosty mornings uh, it's got all the CECV approved um, body armor on the shoulders the um, elbows it's got the protection everywhere you, uh, you need it so that is a really um, multiple multi-purpose kind of jacket like I said I wore it the whole day on the road bike and adventure riding did everything I wanted to do kept me nice and warm kept me protected and the beauty about this jacket is a 2700 Rand full retail you're not going to get a better jacket than that you're not going to get more quality um, and really just absolutely love that jacket so that really got the job done there for me then i needed to get myself a pair of riding boots so i did that metalized shorty adventure riding boots so again i used this on the road and the dirt you can see they're still nice and dirty from putting the gs to the full test um nice and comfortable i was a little bit worried being brand new that i wasn't going to feel the gear shifters and i was going to struggle changing gears 
no problem really just climbed on felt like a, a, a nice pair of tackies actually to be honest got the shifting done and was nice and protected one thing i did love that helped me out on the gs especially on the off-road stuff is the nice grippy thick sole as you can see there nice there so every time i put my foot down i wasn't slipping like some of the other guys that i had that were wearing just normal riding shoes uh, there were some very slippery surfaces put their foot down would slip I was so cool, I had no problems. I had full grip from my Metalized uh, Adventure Shorty Boots. So love those, those also proper quality for under 2,000 Rand. That really is, um, again, just quality. Metalized really has bringing out some quality products of late. Then last but not least, I had to get myself a pair of riding pants, which I did, a pair of Metalized riding jeans. I'm not a huge fan of adventure riding pants. Uh, don't really like the, the, the look and feel of those, especially if you go down on the tar, you don't really want to be wearing those because they're not as protective as this full Kevlar um, riding jeans. Got some nice protection in the knees, got that thick inside Kevlar padding. So if you do go down, you're gonna go through the jeans, then you still got the Kevlar to protect you there. So went for these ultra comfortable just feel like a pair of Levi, Levi casual jeans to be honest my boots they fit right over the boots they fit perfectly in with the jacket as well so really love those metal eyes have got a great range of riding jeans and leggings for both men and women so check out the full range of metal eyes riding jeans at your nearest uh, stockist love these well priced as well I think they're under 1500 Rand for a pair of riding jeans you don't get better quality than that so check out the full range of metal eyes riding gear and the brand new Scorpion ADX1 helmet if you're an adventure rider or if you're looking for riding apparel that is multi-purpose that can do the off-road rides the adventure rides and the road stuff